One of the most intriguing species for freshwater aquarium keepers is the Mabu puffer. As the largest freshwater puffer, Mabu puffers, or Tetradon Mabu, are sure to make their presence known in your big tank. Their hardy, carnivorous nature and beautiful olive to brown coloration and yellow line patterns make them an interesting addition to a very large freshwater setup. Mabu puffers exhibit unique burrowing habits. In a tank with gravel substrate, a puffer will frequently be noted digging small depressions and then resting in them. For this reason, it's best to provide small, smooth gravel, as not to inflict physical damage to the scaleless fish. Mabu puffers do sometimes exhibit the classic puffed up, spiky puffer pose when they feel threatened or stressed. Anyone keeping one should be careful when transporting them, as puffing up is a stress reaction and can be dangerous to the fish. Adult size is the biggest concern to note with the Mabu puffer. These mammoth freshwater fish can obtain a length of over 30 inches long, making them suitable for only tanks at a minimum of 150 gallons and preferably much larger. That tiny 4-inch fish you buy at the store and see here will soon be growing out of virtually any accommodations you can provide. Their temperament and predatory nature also make them unsuitable for a tank full of smaller or more passive fish. Mabu puffers are almost constantly on the hunt for food and are best kept alone. Interestingly though, like humans, each Mabu puffer has a unique personality. They will learn to recognize their keepers and, while considered an aggressive fish overall, surprisingly some Mabu puffers will share a tank with smaller friends and never exhibit aggressive behavior. Mabu puffers are very intolerant to cold water temperatures. Anyone looking to keep them should be prepared to maintain a constant tank temperature between 75 and 82 degrees Fahrenheit and a pH between 7.0 and 7.6. Like most puffers, they require a diet of snails, freshwater crustaceans, and small fish. Hard-shelled creatures should be offered frequently to help aid in the natural wear of your puffer's teeth. These large teeth can actually grow so large they stop the puffer from feeding, so it's extremely important that they get worn down. Mabu puffers are a hardy, easy to keep freshwater species if housed in the correct conditions. Any hobbyist willing to correctly provide for a Mabu puffer will surely be rewarded with lots of personality and fun.